What's going on, people of YouTube? Welcome back to Halo Combat Evolved Anniversary on the Master Chief Collection. Thank you. So what is going on people of YouTube? Like I said, I'm Masculinage. Welcome back to Halo MC. Now I had a problem where my game glitched out on me and I lost the last little bit of the Truth and Reconciliation mission. Uh, meaning that I moved, as you could tell in the background, turned my Xbox off, took the game out, plugged it on today, and I uh, went to go resume my mission, and it started me right back at the beginning of Truth and Reconciliation, even though I was pretty much 95% done it. So I'm a little ticked off that I can't show you guys the rest of that mission, but I'm pretty sure you guys have played uh, Halo Combat Evolved by now, and know what's at the end of that mission. At least I hope so. So I'm just going to continue from this one, the Silent Cortographer. And we will continue the campaign from here like normal. It still really bothers me that I had to miss out on five, that last little bit of uh, the last, the third mission, but whatever. What the? Can you, can you walk through it? What the? F okay, I guess they didn't even decide to fix that. I wonder if you can. Wow, okay, you can walk through all the small trees. <laughs> okay, so I remember the silent cartographer quite well. This is what it looks like in the normal. The normalness. I wish, uh, I wonder if they could actually make a real Halo in real life. Okay, That'd be kind of cool, I guess, out. wouldn't it? Let's go find the map room that will show us the location of Halo's control center. Will do. Let's go figure this shit out. But yeah, this the mess that this game is in is really ridiculous. Like... I can't even I can't even begin to express how disappointed I am in 343 Industries when it comes to this game. You could tell they really just wanted to push this game out. Um Yeah, they you could tell they just really wanted to push this game out before the holidays, which is really really unfortunate due to the fact that yeah, you know, there's going to probably be people looking to get this game for Christmas. But at the same time, it sucks for the people. But yeah, like, it, it really indicates that 343 Microsoft Studios really just wanted to get this game out for the money and they didn't really take their time like they should have and that's really bothersome to me to know that because and I died by an elite <laughs> let me just make sure I didn't oh okay but yeah so essentially they released this game in a broken state just to push it out before the holidays and that really bothers me because, as you know, 343 Industries is in the hands... Uh, Halo 5 is in the hands of 343 Industries, and that scares me. Because... Halo 5 worked. Okay, I'm gonna let... I'm gonna let the ship talk. Put my phone on mute. Understood. We're still en route to the objective. I may be out of contact when we get there. Here are your orders. I want you to use any means necessary to force your way into the facility and find Halo's control center. We have to get to the center before the Covenant. Failure vehicle is not an option. Echo 419 to ground team. I'll stay on the Done talking yet.
need to find the security override to get this door open. That elite just disappeared. The fuck? <laughs> okay, so now I'm pretty sure I need to leave. And drive to another spot. But yeah, so... Halo 5 is in the hands of 343 Industries. And if they can't put out... Four remastered games... Uh, that were... You know... Three of them are pushing almost a decade old... It's probably time to start wondering what they're going to do when it comes to Halo 5. Are you fucking kidding me? That was weird as fuck. And that's one of the main things that is really worrying me. Because if I, I, like, I, I can't justify the cost of these games anymore. Like, I cannot pay $80 for a game and it not work on day one. Like, I can't. Like, even day one patches are a pain in the ass. It took... Like, it took me, I think, two and a half hours to download this 15 gig da uh, file for this game. And that's because I kept interrupting the download because I was playing something else. But on the other hand, it took my friend 18 and a half hours to download the 15 gig byte uh, download. So essentially, not only are day one patches really annoying, it's basically developers covering their asses while, you know, the game is broken essentially because they, rele they put it on me uh, physical media and then realize, oh wait, it's broken, it's like broke like crazy, so let's go ahead and put out a day one patch to fix those bugs so we can get this game out as quickly as possible. And frankly, at the same time, it kind of makes me question the, the reasoning behind day one patches. Because, as you know, if people don't have internet connections, they cannot download these day one patches. And unfortunately, there's going to be issues where you're not getting the full physical media of the game because you have to download this stupid day one patch. Like, I can understand that, yeah, whatever, they're trying to limit the amount of piracy and blah, 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 blah that these games get. But... They're only doing nothing but harming themselves and everybody else. And that's a problem. And I'm going to have to pause it because I need to go get my tea. So just give me two seconds. Okay. I have my tea in my hand or on my desk and I'm ready to get back in here. So yeah, so day one patches, they don't essentially help anybody but the developers. Because they're going to know that you're not going to be able to play that game unless you have an internet connection and even in 2014 there's a lot of people that still don't have internet connections or they just choose not to have internet because they don't see the value they don't see the point of having it and by doing these day one patches they're essentially forcing they're, they're forcing people to to buy into shitty policies and shitty practices for no apparent reason whatsoever. And it's bullshit. Because now, all these day one patches, especially if they're... Oh shit. Like, especially since these patches are so big... Yeah, these patches are like 15 gigs for this game. And that is a lot of hard drive space. So not only is it a problem for, you know, it, uh, you know your internet connection. That's if you have one. And if you don't have one, you're kind of screwed. But you're downloading these giant patches... And your hard drive space is paying for it. 
And that's shit. It's complete bullshit. Why should I have to download these day one patches when clearly the Blu-ray discs are big enough to handle these things? I mean, come on, 45 gigs on a Blu-ray. Anywhere between 45 to 120, I think, for a Blu-ray drive. Or for a Blu-ray disc. A single and dual layer. And you're fucking telling me that... You're, you're, you're telling me that... It's not going to fit all on a Blu-ray. That you need to have these giant day one patches just to, you know, make it more complicated for the, the consumer. Like, it's stupid. And I really don't appreciate it. But this is what we have to deal with in 2014 gaming. And will it go away? I don't know. Do I want it to go away? Yeah. But honestly, it's not up to me. It's up to the developers. Well, technically, it's always up to us, but they kind of, you know, made it impossible for us to even try to rebel against it. Due to the fact that they do day one patches, and we don't know about it until like two days before the game comes out. And by then, we've all pre-ordered the game. You know, we're all going to have fun with it. We're going to enjoy what we what we purchased. And uh, there's nothing we can do about it. Okay. Now we're getting deeper in here. Deeper, deeper, deeper. But I'm going to pause it right here. So thank you guys so much for checking out this video. If you want to continue watching my videos, make sure you hit the big red subscribe button to be notified when I do upload videos. Um, go check out my Facebook and my Twitter and all my social platforms. Links to those will also be down in the description. We have discussions on Facebook about uh, whatever, I guess. If you have a game you want me to play, you can send it there over on Facebook or tweet me on Twitter. Follow me on there and like my Facebook page. Subscribe to my channel to get updates. Like this video. And as always, I'm Masculinish, and I'll see you guys in the next video.